Okay, hi, my name is Danila Dumais and I am a graduate student here at MIT. I'm working with Ellen Plum. Originally, I am from Switzerland and now I've been here for about five years. And what I study for my research is the stratosphere. Now, the stratosphere is that layer of the atmosphere that starts at about six miles altitude and it goes all the way up to about 30 miles altitude. So, if you're sitting in a plane and you're looking down at those clouds, that's about where the stratosphere starts at those clouds. And Below, that's the troposphere, that's the layer of the atmosphere that we live in. Now, the stratosphere has a couple of very interesting properties. And one thing that's very interesting about the stratosphere is that there's these phenomena that about once a year in the winter in the northern hemisphere, the, the polar temperatures would warm up by about 40 degrees Celsius within about a week. Now, this is very fast if you imagine going from like a snowy Boston winter day all the way to a very hot Boston summer day within one week. That's what happens during these events in the stratosphere. Now, um, these events are called sudden stratospheric warmings because they happen so fast within this week. We couldn't imagine this happening down in the troposphere. Now, in order to, to study this, what I'm interested in is how do these warmings come about in the first place? What, what is the me mechanism that is causing them? Now, I'm not actually going up there and taking measurements up in the stratosphere. What I'm doing is I mostly use computer simulations. The data we get from satellite measurements, we get them from radio sound observations. But then, since these events, as I said, only happen about once a winter, they're very rare, and we don't have a lot of observations on them. Although the observations are constantly getting better. But, so what I'm using are computer simulations in order to look at what is the mechanism that is causing these warmings up in the stratosphere. So why would we be interested in what's happening up there in the stratosphere? Now the interesting thing is that they actually probably have an influence on the weather down here because the stratosphere is influencing the troposphere down below. And what's even more interesting, this may actually help improve weather forecasts. If we know how the stratosphere and the troposphere interact with each other, then we may also be able to predict from what's, if you know what happened, what's happening in the stratosphere, we may be able to make a better prediction of what's happening down in the troposphere, also at a longer time scale than, than the current weather forecasts are done, such as a couple of months.